welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali and this is my very last haul of 2020. I've done a lot of hauls this year and next year I'm going to try and cut down on the amount of stuff I'm buying, especially paper pads wise because I have more paper pads than I have had hot dinners. Maybe not quite, but <laughs> we're getting close. In today's video I've got four smallish orders that I placed over the Christmas break. Online shopping is one of my favourite things to do so I maybe need to unlearn that in 2021 but either way uh, we can both enjoy unboxing all of these orders. I've got an order from Hobbycraft, an order from The Works, an order from Crafter's Companion and an order from Clearly Besotted. Let's get started. This is actually the first order I've ever placed with Crafter's Companion. I think I have owned some of their products before but I've never ordered directly from their store. So this is a pack of tape. <laughs> I was running quite low on double-sided tape so I got a pack of four rolls off their site. It comes in two different sizes, one thick and one thinner. Cheaper tape sometimes can ruin your projects or just fall apart later, so I don't mind spending a little bit more on that. That's gonna keep me going for a while, I think. They, they did have quite a big sale on, so a lot of their Spectrum Noir um, inks were quite heavily discounted. And because it was my first order, I think I got 20% off overall as well. I got this Spectrum Noir metallic set in vintage metallics, which is like more my kind of style. I think the other one was more like bright golds, um, which I'm not really massively into, so I just went for this one. You get four colours in here. You get aged copper, antique bronze, burnished copper and tarnished silver. I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, you can see what colours they are. So these have little metal balls inside so you can shake them up and make sure they're not separated. So that one is aged copper. That's a really nice colour. Then we've got... These have been sitting for a while, I think, so they need a good old shake. This one is antique bronze. This one is burnished copper. So if we compare it to the other one. They do look quite similar, don't they? But I'm sure when you shake them up and use them, they are different colours. And then we've got tarnished silver, which I would say is more of like a pewter colour, maybe. Um, I'm hoping to do some videos next year trying out some supplies that I've never tried. So I think I'm going to do a video testing these out and seeing different ways to use them. So make sure you subscribe if uh, that's something you want to see. I also got this colour, which is green citrine. This is just a loose one that's on its own. It's like a metallic green. That's a nice colour. And then these are slightly different. So those were the Spectrum Noir metallic inks and these are the Spectrum Noir aqua tints. So these are watercolour inks. So these ones are not metallic. Oh god, so much plastic. Oh, and they come with three little pipettes. That's quite handy to have. You get three colours. This set is the Falling Leaves set. They've got quite a lot of different sets, but I just wanted to try them out. So I just got the one. And I've got the shade Smoked Quartz, which is, I think is a brown. It just looks brown. Olive Jade, which is green. They all look the same. Harvest Moon, which is orange. I don't know. Will you be able to see these? You can't really see the colours. I can see them a little bit in real life, but I think they're one of the ones you're going to have to open and have a look because the bottles are quite dark. But those have been on my wish list for a little while because I've wanted to try them. So I'm quite looking forward to giving those a go. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video of me trying those out. If you've tried them and you have any tips and tricks for me when I try them, then please let me know in the comments. Other than stamps, there's just this one embossing folder. This is in Pinecone Plethora and it's a 3D one, so it'll give you an extra raised impression. There's lots of pine cones and foliage on this one, so. This is a very Christmassy one, so um, I might not use this until next Christmas now, but um, it was really reduced in their sale. I think it was in like £1.50 or something. I thought that was really nice, and it would be nice to do a few different embossing techniques. You could ink up the inside of the embossing folder and then emboss it. I've never tried that before, and I think that would work really, really nicely with this design. And then the rest of the products in this, this package are all stamps, so. This is the Garden of Love stamp set. And this has just got six stamps with um, love sentiments on. I thought this would be really nice for like wedding cards and anniversary cards and stuff like that. I was looking for some bigger stamps to go inside that kind of card because I don't really have a lot. And when people ask me to make them a special cards, like quite often it is like a wedding one. So 
thought this would be good to have. A lot of these stamp sets were really massively reduced as well, so I got a good bargain on that one. Vintage Christmas, and this has just got some really nice Christmas sentiments. I really like the scripty fonts in these. I thought they were really classy. That will be fun to use on some Christmas cards maybe next year. I'm hoping to start my Christmas cards a little bit earlier this year. So. <laughs> I've got these two as well. So these are from the Crafty Fun collection, which is a collection based all around um, crafts and craft supplies. And I just got the two sentiment stamp sets. So they're both A6. So that's the sentiments you get in that one. I thought they would be really nice to use on my, on my cards especially when I'm sending cards to crafty friends. And then the last two are these little stamps, which are Christmas stamps. I have quite a few of these like little sentiment stamps from Crafters Companion. I think I must've got them all of Craft Stash and maybe the works. And I really like them. They had quite a few Christmassy ones um, on their site, but I just, instead of getting them all, I just went for the two I like the best. Cause if you all have watched any of my hauls before, you will probably, you can probably hazard a guess at how many stamp sets I've got. And I don't really have any more space <laughs> for any more. Yeah, we can't go around buying all the stamp sets. Although I still have bought like five. The thing I like about these Crafters Companion stamps is that they're quite big. So they fill most of the card front. So it's really easy to base a card around them. I thought that was really nice. It's a bit, um, a bit, of, a bit of a different sentiment. It says, sweet but twisted, does that make me a candy cane? So it was a little bit cheeky. And then this one actually says two pieces. So I don't know if it comes with, I don't know. I guess we'll have to open it and have a look. All oh, right, so you do actually get two in this one. So you get your outline snowman and your solid snowman. That explains why this one was a little bit more expensive. I think these are only like 150 each though, which I think is a really good price. That's really cute. I think that's really clever that they've put both in because then you have a bit more versatility. So yeah. awesome. So that's everything I got from Crafters Companion. This should be really fun to use. I'm really looking forward to trying inks because I've not tried those before. I'll just do some abstract backgrounds and like throw them around. <laughs> I just found this washi tape in my stash with these little fishes on. Isn't it nice? It's all foiled. I don't know where it came from. So if you have watched any of my hauls before, you will probably know I'm a big clove sotted fan. Order from there nearly every month. <laughs> this is just a little order with some things from their sale and a couple of things that I spotted on their social media that I wanted to add to my collection. I might film a video showing you all my clearly besotted stuff this year sometime because there is quite a lot it might be fun to go through it all so this is called the twinkle twinkle stencil and it reminded me of a christmas jumper pattern and i thought that would be really really fun to use on my cards around christmas time and just you know through the winter as well because you could use it on cards in january and february as well i'm thinking of stenciling all of my clearly besotted stencils onto the front of the envelopes that they come in so i can flip through them in my storage and know exactly which ones they are that's just quite a big job though so i've been putting it off and then in here i've got some stamp sets so there's just the five this time these might have all been from their sale this is the over the rainbow set where you can stamp a rainbow with these kind of abstract painty swoosh lines. I thought that would be really, really fun to use. Um, just make little rainbow cards and you can just stamp them in all different colors. Just really like the look of that one. Also got the Take a Bow stencil, which has these solid bows and a ribbon and then a couple of sentiments and a little button. Really, really nice just to finish off cards, uh, just when you need something a little bit extra just to add to it also got this party time stencil which is a bunch of balloons and some party sentiment i thought these would really really be fun to use like to make a background you could stamp them in like dye inks and like mix and match them over the top of each other like overlapping i thought that would make a really really nice birthday card and super easy um, I don't think I have very many balloon stamps and definitely not solid ones like this. So th these really stood out to me. Also got this against the grain stencil, which is like a wood grain pattern, just a little one. I thought that might come in really handy as a background, make a really nice, easy background panel on a card. And then the last one I've got is this one, which is called Pullover Pals. And it's all these Christmas characters with little jumpers on, which I thought was adorable. And then some really, really nice sentiments here. And then some little tiny stamps. So you've got like your reindeer there and a penguin. There's a star. This is really, really cute. I really like the jumpers. I thought they were really fun. So that's what I got from Clearly Besotted this time. Um, by the time this goes up, I will probably have placed another order with them. <laughs> 
I've been watching their um, reveals for their January release and I really like all the stamp sets, they're all Valentine's themed so I probably will order that. That might be my only order that I make in January because I'm trying to not buy very much. But I don't want to stop supporting my favourite companies just because I've been too spendy last year. <laughs> I don't really remember what's in this, I think there is maybe some paper pads but I did place it quite a while ago for Christmas and it's just been sat waiting to be unboxed. Ooh. Yeah, so quite a few things in there. I'd forgotten about all of these, how exciting. Let's start with the uh, boring but I mean very necessary things first. I got two rolls of Sizzix foam tape. So I was running quite low on foam tape, especially this kind of quite thin foam tape. I much prefer this to something like this. This is the dot and dab foam tape, but you can see it's like super thick. They do make a thinner one, I think, but I just don't have any of it. It's kind of harder to find the thinner ones. So when I saw these on there for like, I think they were like 150 each or something. I was like, oh, I have two of those because I do go through them quite a lot and they should keep me going for a while. And because it's Sizzix, um, it's a decent brand. So I figured that, you know, that's not gonna fall apart on my card or come unstuck or anything. So happy to pay a little bit more for it, even though it wasn't very expensive, was it? Also got this pack of 30 cards and envelopes. So they're all in pastel colors, you can see there. And then you've got the matching envelopes. And these were only £3.50 and you get 30 in here, five by seven inches. So you've got the pink there, there's like a, a lavendery colour, there's this like really pale teal, would you say, or like minty green maybe? It looks more blue on camera but it's slightly greener. There's a yellow, and there's this creamy ivory colour and then there's a pale pink at the back there and then you've got all of the um, envelopes in, in quite similar colours, they're pretty close. So they're a little bit bent. Um, I just probably have to put something heavy on them. <laughs> and I get I guess for like three pound fifty for thirty that I thought that was a really good deal. So they're two hundred and twenty GSM cards and a hundred GSM envelopes, which is pretty standard. The only thing you might want to be aware of with these is that they are not solid core cardstock. They're just white core. So um, I don't know that might that might be a deal breaker for you. For me, it's not really for me. I kind of like that the inside is white because it means that it it's you know easy to write on <laughs> also got these two rolls of pom-pom trim they are by do crafts and you get how much do you get on the roll three meters on each roll and we've got ice blue and navy blue now that is definitely not navy blue i would say it's kind of more cobalt yeah that is definitely icy blue but that is not navy sorry but navy is like a dark dark blue it really bothers me when people call dark blue navy because it's not the same that's enough ranting about colours for today. <laughs> also got this pack of black card. Now, um, this is an everyday basic that I always need and I'm lo really looking for some like affordable black card that's actually black. Now, I would say this isn't quite as black as I would want, um, but it's, it's perfectly fine and it was only a pound. So I don't really know how much I can complain about that. It's 200 GSM, so it's slightly on the thinner side, but it's okay for like layering. I bought their craft card stock and I really like that. So I thought I'd get a black one as well. I don't have a lot of black card stock, so this will come in handy. Also got this, which again is, um, I seem to get quite a lot of stuff from the kids section. It always says for kids. Um, <laughs> I'm like it's not just for kids it's for adults too this is corrugated colored card in there's 10 pieces in here in different colors we've got 10 different colors we might, we'll have a look in a second this was two pounds for the pack of 10 and what i bought this for is i made a card a little while ago that i shared on my instagram i'll put a picture of it here um and for the background i just used brown corrugated card and then mounted my tag on top and i thought it looked really really nice so and um, brown corrugated card was the only color i had so when i saw this on the work side i was like oh i can get some more colors so these are quite bright colors just to make you aware this is like a really really vivid red i kind of guessed that much because it's for kids so you know it's going to be bright and bold it's for them to have fun with so there's a really bright red color kind of like christmas red there's this bright green, there's a bright orange, there's this sort of light blue, and then there is this sort of cobalty blue, like middle blue. There's a purple, a black, a white, a yellow, and a pink. So 
you get quite a few different colours in there. They're all super bright, but I think that's okay. Sometimes I want to make super bright cards. And the corrugatedness is quite... It quite, feels quite sturdy. I don't think it would get squashed in the mail, which is another good thing about corrugated card. So yeah, you can add a bit of dimension to your cards, but they're not gonna get flattened in the mail. So I thought that would be fun to add to my stash. And you get a lot of colors in there. So um, yeah, that's always nice. I always like to get quite a range of colors in packs when I order them. So the last few things in this haul are some paper pads, um, which I definitely did not need, but you know, doesn't matter. This is one of the small paper pads from the Make and Create range. So this is 10 by 10 centimeters. They've got quite a few on the website, so make sure when you order them that you check the size because these are like quite small. So um, I knew the size of them because I've had some paper pads this size before. Um, I thought this would be really good for matting um, elements and photos. So whether you do scrapbooking or you do card making, and there was some nice basic patterns in here and they were quite small patterns which is good because it's quite a small pad so you want the pattern to be quite small and detailed so yeah nice that's that's really good uh, i missed a few at the back there yeah so we've got some like basic stripes and checks and spots and things like that always good to have they are 20 designs five sheets of each it doesn't say what weight the paper is does it no but I would take a guess these are 100 GSM because they're quite thin, just to make you aware. Also got this one. So this one I've almost ordered from the works quite a few times, but I don't know, it was just a little bit expensive. So I was waiting for it to go on sale. <laughs> so this is the Paper Mania Sweet Treats paper pad. You get 50 double-sided papers in this and I've actually got one of the stamps to go with it and I'm thinking about getting the other stamp set. It's on Amazon for about £4. It's actually got a little flap which tucks behind, which I think is quite clever because it stops it getting ruined in the shop. So yeah, so this is a 6 by 6 pad and it's double-sided. So we'll have a flick through, shall we, and have a look at the papers. Um, I really, really like the illustration style in this. Looks like you get two sheets of each, is that right? You get two sheets of each, they're all double-sided. They're all 160 GSM, so it's not the thickest paper, but it's it's perfectly fine. I'm really liking these already. Um, for some reason, that one, is that one dirty? For some reason, mine has got dirt on the inside. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm really liking these patterns. Really nice. Um, I actually used the coordinating stamp for this in one of my card tutorial videos where I used the stamp in four different ways on four different cards. So if you want to go and watch that, I'll put it up in the cards for you and I'll also link it. I'll also link it in the description box as well. I love biscuits. <laughs> if you know anything about me, you probably do know that I love biscuits. <laughs> um, okay, so we're back to the... Right, so yeah, so we're back to the beginning of the patterns again now, aren't we? So, then. so you get um, four sheets of each design, but each, each paper is double-sided. So, so you could use one four times or you could use the back side. So I really like that. That's really nice. I'm glad I finally got it. I think I just avoided buying it before because it was a little bit expensive and I didn't need any more paper pads. Still don't need any more paper pads, but at least I didn't spend loads of money on it. <laughs> I think this year I really want to do some use up my paper pads videos so I might put this in to be used, use up the whole paper pad and make some cards out of it especially if I've got the stamp to go with it I think that would be really handy. So yeah I think I might do that with this one it would be a fun one to use. The last two things from this haul I got two very large paper pads so there's this one. This is from the Make and Create range as well and this is a map themed one. So you might have heard me mention it in some of my other videos, but my partner was like really obsessed with maps, like full on. This is double sided. It's going to be really difficult to show you both sides. So I'll just show you one and then we'll go back and look at the other side, shall we? So my partner is really, really obsessed with maps. He absolutely loves them. And for some of my scrapbooking projects, I'd quite like to incorporate some maps into them. Um, they just make nice backgrounds. These are quite vintage style maps. That's the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. So 
So we'll, we'll get back and look at the other side now. Yeah, so most of the pad is similar. They're just all lots of maps. So yeah, I quite like that. I think that would be really fun to use for travel scrapbooking. Uh, if you if you were ever allowed to go traveling again <laughs> and then the last one i got is this one which is also from the make and create what is that fluff both of these paper pads were three pounds which is quite reasonable for a large one i have a few of these from the works i do really like their paper pads i have to say um they are cheaper and they're maybe you know not the same quality as like the fancy ones that cost 10 pounds each but they're, they're perfectly fine I mean, it's paper and it's paper and when it's a you know this is 230 gsm as long as it's printed okay it's fine so this is like a marbly one these are all double-sided um and i just thought this was super nice <laughs> this is really good kind of um everyday large patterns that you can use in a scrapbook you can cut them up and use them on cards i really struggle um not buying marbly patterned papers i think i have a couple but this is very different to any of the other ones i've got there's some really really lovely colors in here it's like goes through every tone you can see like we're in the blues now and you basically get every tone of blue and then now we're on to green really nice really nice print as well like good print quality and then like pale yellow and then it goes back to the other colors so let's give you a quick flick through the colors yeah really pleased with that it's really nice to just have some kind of basic large pattern paper that isn't like overwhelming so you can put things on top so that's everything i got in my works order i really like shopping at the works they have some really really good deals and they do have quite a decent array of craft supplies that you struggle to find um anywhere else their online store is really good and they always have a discount on even though it's already cheap they often have an extra discount and the shipping is usually really fast so i have no bad things to say about the works i really like them also get yourself a works card and then you can get points that you can then spend on more stuff <laughs> the last one is from hobbycraft and i placed this order i think it was during their boxing day sale and it's just actually come today just in time for this video okay so so i only got four things from hobbycraft um this is the sea white postcard pad these are watercolor postcards i've quite wanted a pack of these for ages uh i don't know really why <laughs> i did <laughs> but I, I wanted some so i bought some they are 350 gsm watercolor paper and they have the little postcard printed on the back so you can paint on it and then send it in the mail as a postcard or collect it or give it to somebody as a gift i just wanted to add that to my collection so i did also got these which are vellum paper pads and i've not seen anything like this before i actually didn't think this had any patterns on it but receiving it now obviously it does so i don't know if i didn't pay attention on when i was shopping on the website because i mean the pictures on hobbycraft are quite small or they have sent me the wrong one um, I think it's probably me not looking closely enough on the site, so it's not Hobbycraft's fault, probably mine. They are vellum paper and you get 16 sheets in each one. Now I use vellum a lot for like matting things on cards, so when I saw they had like coloured vellum, I thought, ooh, um, should we zoom in a little bit? That's better, isn't it? So that's the pattern. And you can see that. It's difficult, I think, to see on camera, because even when I take that away, it's a difficult to spot, isn't it? Um, so you get eight different colours and patterns. So there's these really nice minty ones. And we've got this blue one, which that actually has a um, fault in the print. And you can see that on the one underneath as well, which is a little bit annoying, but you could just avoid using that spot. That one ready. There's this green one. And then there's a reddish pinky one. That one's quite bold compared to some of the others. I wouldn't really call that one pastel, but I guess it's more of pastel. Then there's this paler pink. And 
then there's this one as well. Another paler pink one. And right at the back here we've got grey. I've had this pattern already but not this colour. And that's the last one. So that is the pastels with the pattern on. And the other one is the brights. So this one again is eight colours, 120 GSM, 16 sheets, very bright vellum. So you can see they're still, you can still see through them, but they're much, much brighter than the pastels. Yeah. So yeah, I bought these to use um, on my cards. I use plain vellum a lot. So I thought it'd be really fun to have a play around with coloured vellum. And I've not really seen this anywhere, so props to Hobbycraft for stocking this, because I think they're a bit ahead of the game on this one. Um, I would have liked to see a, a pastels vellum one without patterns on. Um, maybe they did have that on their site, but I didn't, I didn't see it, so. Yeah, so there's some nice colours in here. Oh, and then we just have like, that's white at the back there, so. I wouldn't say white is a bright, would you? <laughs> so that is those two. And then the other paper pad I got, I did have quite a lot of paper pads in the basket, but I got rid of most of them because I already have too many. <laughs> Although I may go back at some point and get some more, but I think I'm gonna just have to use some of the ones I've already got up first. So this is the foil paper pad. So this is, again, this is 250 GSM. 16 sheets and you get eight colors and they are the pastels foils so you get a silver somebody has attacked this one it's got a little dent in it super shiny there's a holographic one that is like insane isn't it oh wow there's i find there's a few different types of holographic there's like this kind that ends up with like the stripes do you know what i mean and then there's the one that doesn't that's just holographic without the stripes so depending on what you want to go for, that is crazy, isn't it? Um, then there's the holographic, but in more of a blue tone. Oh, this is really hard to show you with the lights, I'm sorry. We have a sound issue there. I don't know how long that went on for, but never mind. You probably didn't even notice. It would just be me and editing, like, to lose my mind. So that's the blue holographic one. I'd say this, this one's kind of... Mm, the printing is not... It's a little bit... Well, it's got a line down the middle for a start. And then there's like little dots on the printing, but that's only me looking really close. It's not that, it's not that bad. Then there's a blue foil here. That's quite nice, like a sea foam colour. Then we have a lavender slash lilac foil. That's really nice. Then there's a pink. I think it is a little bit harder to find these like pastel foils. I've not really seen them in many places. It's nice to have it in a pad so you don't have tons of the same colour. You know, I don't want to end up with like 10 sheets of pink foil because it'll take me years to use all of that. Then they've got like a pink holographic there. That is like in the same like magenta -y color. Ah, oh, super nice. Two sheets of that. And then at the back you've got gold. Um, these are more of like satin foils rather than like a mirror, which is, I actually think I prefer these. Um, they're a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more classy. Sometimes I still go for the mirror gold, but the satin, the satin is nice too. So I'm quite pleased with that. I bought quite a lot of pads like this. Um, they must be new, because I've not seen them on there before. Yeah, if I had any more space, I'd probably go back and get some more, but I don't need any more. <laughs> then the last thing I got from Hobbycraft were the Derwent Inktense pencils. So I've never tried these before and I've wanted to for a while. I don't think I've ever tried watercolour pencils, but these are a little bit different. It says Derwent Inktense pencils are highly versatile water soluble pencils which create vivid ink like colour when combined with water. So you use them on paper and then you add water and then they like go all, you know, like inky. I thought they would be super interesting to have a go with. Um, you get 12 pencils in here in you know, like a rainbow of colours and I think I paid about £9 for these. Derwent's uh, pencils are quite expensive uh, however I do think they're really good they're one of my favourite pencil brands. Yeah so I've got a set of 72 Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and like nobody come for me in the comments because I do really really like those pencils and I don't have a problem with them but the Derwent ones are nice <laughs> and I just prefer them. They seem to have like a softer lead um, I have these three, Derwent, Colour Soft in Ochre, Grey Lavender and Pale Mint. And they're just really nice. Like the, 
this is just really nice to colour with. The colours are really soft. They go really nicely down on the paper. You can build them up. You can leave them like kind of a little bit smoked out. Um, and whenever I've tried like the proper Derwent um, professional quality pencils, I've just been really blown away by them. The only problem is with them is that they are like insanely expensive. So like for 12 of these, it cost me nine pounds something. And that was still, that was on offer. So that was like a really good offer for these. Um, whereas like my Faber Castell Polychromos, my pack of like 72, uh, I paid like 45 pounds for. So the price point is like very different. And even though Faber Castell Polychromos are expensive, these usually cost you about two pound 50 each, which is a lot for a pencil. Um, especially when you're not a professional artist like me and you don't sell your paintings for or drawings for like hundreds of pounds i don't sell them at all so. anyway that was a bit of a ramble i am really looking forward to trying these out giving them a go so that was my hobby craft order only a few things in there um, i could have got a lot more but i was trying not to like order loads i had a lot of other stuff in my basket as well like acrylic paints and more paper pads and like other bits and bobs so i ended up taking it out because I just have enough stuff already. <laughs> so that is pretty much everything I can fit in there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more like this. I will probably have a few more hauls coming this year because I don't think I'm going to be able to give it up completely. Just maybe a few less than last year. <laughs> if you would like to see some more hauls, then please visit my art and craft supply haul playlist, which you'll find up here in the cards. I'll put a link to it. I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!